Welcome to the Leisure Gamer Network, a home for working professionals, students, parents, or anyone else with a passion for gaming but have constraints on when you can play. We review games after an hour of gameplay to see if they grabbed our attention and are worth your time playing. GLaDOS and the test subject make their triumphant return in Portal 2, the latest game from famed developer Valve. Valve has done a great job marketing Portal 2 with an in-depth viral campaign, and like many of you, I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. The original Portal was a fresh new game with a quirky sense of humor and a lot of character. So far, Portal 2 has brought back all those familiar feelings and added just the right amount to make me relish another round of testing. This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Good luck. Valve has an uncanny ability to breathe life into otherwise one-dimensional and artificial beings. The original Portal had but two characters, the player character Chell and GLaDOS, the AI that guided you through the game. Even only as a disembodied voice most of the time, GLaDOS was humorous, threatening, and mysterious all at the same time. She is Portal. In the beginning of Portal 2, Valve gives us a colorful new character to guide us through the game. Wheatley, another AI voiced by brilliant comedy writer Stephen Merchant, provides great comic relief during the early portion of the game. Hello? Ah! Oh, God. You look... Um... Good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you... He was a nice change-up from the more serious, dark humor of GLaDOS, and was a nice reintroduction to the strange world of Portal 2. You will soon find yourself reacquiring the amazing Portal device, and I fell right back into testing mode, and had a blast navigating the dilapidated Aperture Science Facility. While not too different from the original Portal, the overgrown hallways and crumbling walls were gorgeous to look at, and make you wonder just how much has happened okay. since Portal 1 ended. Of the Speaking of the environments, Valve's Source Engine, whose newest iteration runs Portal 2, looks better than ever. While perhaps lacking the raw pixel counts and technical power of games like Crisis 2, I feel the Source Engine does a better job of making things look gritty and real. Most graphically impressive games today seem to have too much sheen and flashy bloom lighting. This is of course somewhat opinionated, so just know that Portal 2 looks good. Really good. The music never overwhelms the visuals or voice work. Its purpose is to create an undertone and provide the mood while exploring the test chambers. Its electronic techno-industrial sound fits the story and gameplay perfectly. The voice work is top-notch whether it be a turret that wants to kill you or a mechanical sphere containing an eccentric AI. They all come to life because of the great voice acting. Smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. The largest addition to Portal 2 is the co-op mode. In this mode, you take control of one of two robots tasked with completing a gauntlet of Aperture Science test chambers. You can play either Peabody, the tall, thin one, or Atlas, the stocky short one, although they both play identically. After a short orientation in humorous portal fashion, you enter a hub world where you can work your way through the different levels of challenges. With each player able to create two portals, the challenges can be quite complex, but playing with a friend makes the experience all the more enjoyable as you struggle against GLaDOS together. It would compromise the test to divulge individual scores. However, I can tell you that at least one of you is doing very, very well. The original Portal was never known as a difficult game. At its core, the series is just a puzzle game, and its basis is fairly simple. It's through the combinations of simple elements that the game provides challenge. As a test subject, you can jump, crouch, pick up objects, and once you find the wonderful Aperture Science handheld portal device, you can create two interconnected portals on certain surfaces. Doesn't sound like much, right? Throw in companion cubes, lasers, pools of acid, walkways made of light, and springboards that launch you across the room, and you find yourself faced with more and more complex scenarios. The difficulty curve is about as perfect as they come. Elements are introduced simply, only to be used in new and interesting ways further on. Everything is highly intuitive, and I never felt lost or confused. The game autosaves frequently, even in mid-experiment. Whenever I fell into a vat of acid cursing my fumbled portals, I was brought back to a well-timed autosave. In addition, you can manually save at any point, so you can be sure of keeping your progress. Portal 2 earns a rating of low. I never felt punished for attempting a bold solution to a test chamber, and learning how new variables work is easy. Well done. In fact, you did so well, I'm going to note this on your file, in the commendation section. Oh, there's lots of room here. Each level, or test chamber, 
can be looked upon as a self-contained episode, and given the ability to save anywhere, you can even break up the game further. I would recommend not fracturing the game too much, however. An important part of what makes Portal 2 so great is the subtle elements. The dark humor is hilarious, and you might miss some of it if you don't engross yourself in the game. Also, there are some hidden areas and information on the storyline tucked away throughout the game. Portal 2 has a time commitment of evening. While you could get away with playing it in shorter chunks, the game is much more enjoyable when fully engrossing yourself in the world of Portal 2. It's a place of quirky humor, hidden secrets, and it's a lot of fun when you can stop and smell the roses. Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? If that's important, should have asked that first. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. Ever since I completed the first portal and heard that amazing credit song, I have been looking forward to returning to this incredible world. Portal's beautiful simplicity, unique sense of humor and pacing make for an incredibly engrossing and enjoyable experience. After starting up the game, I felt right at home in this familiar universe. The complex character of GLaDOS is one of the greatest video game villains in recent memory. She is sadistic, funny, sad, and infuriating, oftentimes simultaneously. Combine her character with the unique gameplay additions of Portal 2, and you've already got yourself a great game. Of course, that is not enough for a developer like Valve. The addition of co-op play and the hilarious character of Wheatley mean you really get your money's worth with Portal 2. Co-op adds an entire game's worth of test chambers to play with a friend, and Wheatley, with his quirky demeanor, makes a nice counterpoint to the more somber Gladys. Portal 2 earns the rating of absolutely. As the hours slip by, you'll hear yourself saying, just one more test chamber, as GLaDOS berates you for the hundredth time. This plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. You look great, by the way. For your own thoughts on the game, post in the comment section below, and remember to subscribe to become part of the Leisure Gamer Network. Till next time, enjoy gaming. You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling.